All right, welcome back, guys. Adam Motivink here. So we are going to talk about a question that came up several times the last few weeks. So I made a video a while back about the Max Tostier that I drove. So some of you might be too young to remember. Some of you might remember your dad, your grandpa having waste trucks, but you probably remember the camper specials, the three plus threes, the the Chevy heavy half ton is what they called it. Um, Ford's, um, what do they call it? Light duty three quarter ton that they made. Um, Every manufacturer has had some variance of trying to split hairs between making a light duty, heavy duty truck and even like heavier duty three quarter tons and whatnot. Um, like I said, the old Chevy Camper Plus or Camper Package and three plus threes, those were like beefed up trucks for overhead campers, and whatnot. So in 2024, you can order a max tow package on a three quarter ton GMC Sierra and or Chevy Silverado um, custom above and pro and above. I don't know about the work trucks. I'm not really going to go into that. Most people that are uh, buying work trucks, we all know that the employee employers try and buy the cheapest bean can they got and they're not going to even bother with that. But for most of us consumers, the custom uh, trim level is a heavy hitter on the uh, the trim le levels, and you can order that package on it. Um, Ford doesn't really offer you, per se, a um, max tow package. However, they do offer different um, uh, weight ratings for your, your trucks. So they offer beefed up axles, uh, camper packages, whatnot. Um, Ram offers a air suspension package for load leveling. Um, and then and so on and so forth so each version does but chevy really has a killer package when it comes to this and somebody um had a question about wanting to change something because they believe something's changed on the website well much like everything else that i do guys um i provide the information right then and there chevy ram ford everybody all the way down the line puts an asterisk at the beginning of their website saying, if you try and build this thing, we at any time can change anything about the packaging, eliminate it, not even offer it, take it off. Whether it's shortages, I don't even know. They can offer many reasons for taking it back. Now, if you guys are new to trucking and didn't know this, um, when you order a heavy duty truck and you're trying to get the max ability out of it, these manufacturers and engineers have went through and they've built a package that gives you the best capability that you possibly can but if you're in love with say a certain wheel i'm not going to go over you know which wheel you can and can't get with the max tow package so let's take a look at it so when you get to gm's website and you get through your cabin box trims exterior wheels interior and you get to your packages it brings down this right here now, I always recommend getting the Gooseneck 5th Wheel Prep Package, but right here is the Max Trailer Towing Package. You might think, oh, $100, that's pretty cheap. Well, again, in all reality, the frame, I feel, is the same as the, the 3500 single wheel, so I don't think you're really getting anything crazier. Um, but, you know, if and this number right here, if we take go back and actually change this to a gas, because you can't get the Max Tow Packaging on the gas, let's try and do that. Okay, so we went ahead and clicked on the max tow under the custom um, right here. And it basically says, by adding the max tow trailing package, this will also change the following. We're adding an engine block heater, the gooseneck fifth wheel prep package, which is those stamped bed holes. Again, that's this is if you went and ordered all these a la carte without getting that, you're going to get this truck built like a one ton, basically that way. But you can see you get the uh, seven pin harness and everything like that. Uh, the custom value package, um, the black outside mirrors uh, with the uh, vertical trailing mirrors, auto dimming interior mirror, um, and then right here, most people kind of cruise over right here where you're getting the uh, heavy duty dual batteries with uh, the uh, the brake uh, diesel exhaust brake. It kind of just shows the, the the radio here, and if you're not paying attention, to that little button, you may not even notice it. Winter grill cover, which is only available at the D Max. And then, of course, right here, they kind of just clump it together. The 220 amp alternator, the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel. So if you remember, our MSRP was like 53 with the gasser. You'll see that in just a second. So you saw the $100 package. Well, it's only available in the diesel. So the diesel is a $10,000 package add-on. So once we cruise down here, so 342 axle, it's only get, 120 volt, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, Alice and Tinsby, blah, 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 which is the same as the gas, rear cross traffic alert, um, charging only USB ports. Um, that'll probably be omitted. Again, they don't put here right here that they're deleting those for 24, but currently they are on the custom. So um, there's your big mirrors, um, your LED bed lighting, your tailgate with easy lift technology, integrated trailer brake controller. Some of this stuff is already on the HDs. You get the spray and bed liner. You see your uh, GVWR is upgraded. Remote start, and then you get your safety package. 10-way um, power lumbar seat. So you get a ton in the custom package, period. Most of this stuff is going to be standard in, in there, but once you go to a diesel. So now we're going to go down here to the little select button, and we're going to hit select. And then you're going to see right down here, oh, now we got to see the dealer for pricing information. Uh, reason being is because pricing and everything changes a little bit here and there, but it automatically kind of picks these for us. But if we go just to your max tow right here and click on the little I, it tells you kind of what this is. You get a 3500 HD frame, which again, I can't see any difference in the frame itself. The addition of the leaf springs, yes, more robust leaf springs plus that overload. Uh, you do get a 12 inch uh, rear axle, which is pretty much the same on the... Uh, the one that I currently have, gooseneck, fifth wheel provisions, bed stamped holes, and then it also says may require additional information. They cover their six right here due to supply chain shortages, certain features shown have limited or late availability or are no longer available. See the window label or dealer regarding the features. Now the custom comes with a 20 inch wheel. So you hypothetically can get this according to the computer. You can order it that way. Like I said in the ordering video that I made, and I'll put a link to that down in the description. They can change this at any time. GM can change it. Um, you'll, this is not going to be your end-all ordering. So if you're in love with an 18-inch wheel, you may be only able to get an 18-inch wheel the way they tweak these packages. Um, but when you go sit down with the dealer, they're going to be able to say, okay, we can't get the max tow anymore, blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know why they did the max tow. I think it's an incredible value. Um, and, you know, if you've driven a Chevy or a Sierra, 3,500, 2,500, max tow, whatever. The truck rides exactly the same. The independent front suspension is what absorbs most of that initial bump, but the truck itself is a great riding truck. It's, it's better than both the other two. They have solid front axles. Um, and loaded or unloaded, the one ton rides no different than a loaded or unloaded 2,500. Um, the 3,500 is probably a smidge heavier, so at, at best it probably would even ride better. Um, but I, I can't tell any difference. So if you're wondering if drivability would be different, I don't believe so. Um, but as for this package, it's a great package. And if you can get it, you can get it. But again, whether it's the certain wheel that you want or you can't get this or you can't get that, that is going to be through the dealer directly with Chevrolet. And then keeping in mind when you put down your deposit, there is on an, the bottom of all of these truck ordering forms saying that at any time they can change or diminish or delete or however you want to say it parts of your order if products are not available so to get your your vehicle out they that may come with a later retrofit it may come with just a discount and you won't even know it um there was one vehicle that was really interested in getting what was it i think it was a ram and connected services deleted well to me connected services is really important because i like remote starting from the phone app and stuff like that and um, I ended up not getting that. That, that was a, a while ago. But nonetheless, that right there kind of explains. So that's why I'm not going to change any content because at the time it was true. It was be, uh, based on what was available information at the time. And again, this is just what us consumers get. When I was building orders as a fleet manager for Ford, um, I would sit down and we would go through there. We would call it in. And at that time, Ford would then kind of give us a rebound of, what was available, what not. And then again, at, once we sent the order, they could still do whatever they want to at the factory and plant. Now you don't have to worry that they're gonna all of a sudden change your color. Um, there was a color shortage, oh man, this is a long time ago, but they actually couldn't make certain pigments based on something. I don't remember if it was the availability of some type of um, um, combination of the, the stuff that they make the, the paint out of, but there was a time where you couldn't get certain colors, um, but, if that was the case, then they would let you know if it's something that drastic. But if it's just something kind of be below the belt that you wouldn't really even notice, it's not even going to be a big deal. 
Um, but to explain that, that's how the uh, the Max Tow Package is going to work moving forward in the 2024s for right now. It appears you can order that only with the diesel option. I anticipate they will not offer that with the gas option because I think putting those numbers up in the 20s for the 6.6 um, LAT right now would be pushing it pretty hard. But... Um, I think that the motor is very capable, and I think 18.5 is a good max for that engine. Um, but even when you look at the dually specs for a 6.6, they're not that much more uh, than the single wheel. So the engine will have its own limitations. Where you really get that punch is from the 6.6, uh, um, you know, Duramax Gen 2 L5P. That's that's where you're going to get those big numbers for. That's why they're offering that package only under that. And again, Ford offers something very similar. There's going to be restrictions on how to get that axle rating and the, the truck rating and the camper package and certain wheel restrictions and everything like that. I can't go over that because there's no way I can even keep up with the manufacturers and how they change and, and delegate it. And even if we built it here and it worked, you might go to the dealer and they might be like, well, that uh, is no longer available. And that's why they put the little asterisks at the bottom covering their ass uh, to make sure that uh, they can take or, or give as they see fit. So... Hopefully that answered your guys' question about the Max Tow Package and its availability currently and why some things change as they do. Down there in the bottom corner is the subscribe button, so hit that for me. Please hit the like button, and we're going to see you on the next one, guys.